For the analysis part of a project, we chose to analyze the flow over a fin. Here is a quick preview of our final result. There are three parts to our model. Here's the fan, and I'll make the wind tunnel transparent so we can see the fin array. And here's our fin array. To start, we will add elids at the end of the wind tunnel to be able to specify the boundary conditions in the flow analysis. We will go to the flow simulation tab and we will click on the create lid function. We will click on each faces where we want the lids to be added. We can also specify the thickness of the lid. In our case, it will be 0.1 inches. To specify the rotating region of the fan, we draw a solid body that encapsulates the whole fan. To set up our flow analysis, we go under the Flow Simulation tab and we click on Wizard. On the first window, we can specify the project name and the configuration name. On the Unit System window, we can specify which unit system we want the analysis to run in. For this project, we will choose the SI units. On the Analysis tab, we will choose the internal flow and we will uncheck the excluded cavities without flow condition. We will also check the rotation physical features and change the reference axis to the z-axis. The default fluid window allows us to choose the fluid we want to use for the analysis. For our case, we will choose air. We will leave the wall conditions at the default values. We want the initial conditions to be at room temperature and pressure and therefore we will leave them at their default values. The results and geometry resolution window allows us to pick how fine our mesh will be. For our analysis, we will pick 5, as this is a good compromise between computation time and resolution. Next, we will click on the finish. After setting up our flow analysis, SOLIDWORKS will display our computation domain. Next, we will specify our rotating regions. We click on rotating region and we click on insert rotating region. We select our rotating region part that we made earlier and we give it a rotational speed of 270 rads per second. Next, we will specify our boundary conditions. We right click on boundary conditions and we click on insert boundary condition. We select the two interfaces of the lids and we click on the pressure openings and environment pressure and we click on the check button. Because we want to pay particular attention to small features and narrow channels, we want our mesh to be finer at those places. We right click on the project name and we click on customize tree and we check local initial meshes. We right click on initial meshes and we insert local initial mesh. Next we select the region where we want the finer mesh and that will be our heatsink. We uncheck the automatic settings and we go on the solid fluid interface tab and we increase the refinement level to 5 and we press the OK button. Next, we click on the Run button. One way to display the results is to show the flow trajectory. We right click on Flow Trajectories and we click on Insert. We select our boundaries by clicking the interfaces of the lids. We change the number of points to 40 and we change the appearance to lines and arrows and we change the density to 0.003. Press on the Check button. Next, we will show an animation of the flow. Another way to show the results are cut plots. I will hide the flow trajectories so we can see them better. We right click on cut plots and we click on insert. And we select our right plane. We click on the check button. Now you can see the velocity gradient. And that's all. Thanks for watching.